Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to Back Office Teardown Lab. We're just going to play again with our tablet of infinite fun because it's got so many fun things on it that we just can continue to just learn and educate ourselves from it. But while we uh, while we destroy it, I'm just going to cut these out. These are like tiny little wires with these little speakers, these itty bitty speakers. Can you see them right there? Um, they look like they might be quite fun to keep, so I'm just going to try to take those off in one piece. But that's not the purpose of this video because I want to show you something else. Um, I want to show you, you know, we're going to try to remove the battery as if we were going to seriously remove it, like we we're going to try to replace it. Now, these batteries tend to be bonded onto these screens, and which really means they're going to be a bloody nightmare. So I'm not going to hold out much hope for it, but it would be useful to learn the technique. These speakers are cute. Look, they've actually got an adhesive layer on the front so you can stick them on the back of something. So I'm definitely glad I'm going to keep these because... You never know when you need a couple of those. Right, chuck those onto the shelf of curiosity. Do we want to keep this? This is the actual antenna for the Wi-Fi. I don't think it's worth keeping because it's, quite frankly, was never any good. Um, but, you know, there you go. If you're curious, that's how you make one. Yank it out, chuck it in the bin. Right. Onwards and upwards. We have a tablet. Let's pretend this is our tablet of goodness that we want to keep and... I'm just going to take this PCB out. We know this PCB is pretty duff because we've kind of killed it. And I want to just, maybe I want to keep that touch screen and I want to keep the screen later. So I'm just going to take these off. There's a microphone here, could be useful. Let's just cut the wires, we'll keep the microphone. So this PCB is duff, let's pull it right out. It's got a few nice edge connectors, HDMI port, nah, and a camera. Look at this little camera. Look at this little fella. Actually, it's a dual camera module. Again, I'm getting so distracted by all these curious things. These curious, curious things. Look, a dual camera module. How sweet. Oh, I kind of feel I want to keep that, even though I know I'm never going to do anything with it. Let's keep it aside for now. Right, so we've got this PCB. Anything useful on there? This HDMI port looks kind of useful if we smash one up on another tablet, but nah destroy it you don't need it the only thing that really could be useful would be the micro SD slot because you know you could use that in one of your own projects but oh I've destroyed it right so pretend now you've got your tablet and you've got your battery that you want to get off the screen and the screens there it's got its back metal cover on it and it's got its touch screen so you, you'll have at least this much area to work with if you can manage to get rid of all your PCBs. So I'm going to try as if we're just going to go in there with our fists and tear it off. Um, actually that works really well. <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, you're not trying to save the battery so it doesn't matter. Look, so this is my technique. I'm doing a kind of, I'll show you sideways, I'm going and doing like little fingers, little fingers to just keep working them, working them underneath. I tried with a scraper once and I punctured the battery, but this is way more effective. It's like you're bunching it up with your fingers. Look like this, watch. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Now it's getting hard. Pulling, 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 pulling. Yes. Brilliant. Actually, that works. Treat. Battery off. No damage. Screen perfectly intact. No cracks, no nothing. Ain't that a good thing? Look at that battery for a second. Now look at this battery. Can you tell the difference? This was a battery in one of those massive power supply things, you know, the big battery banks. And this says it's a 14.6 watt hour batteries. Um, what does this one say it is? 18.5, so this is bigger than one of those, but this one's got three of them. This would have been a really big power cell, but look, it's got well fat. I don't know what the fatness is, and it's driving me nuts. So I'm gonna just pop the fatness. Ah, nothing, just fat air, that's all it was. Actually, ooh, it smells like chemicals. There's a chemical smell out that hole. Um, so you could <laughs> glue that on there and then try to get your tablet shut and it would work nicely. So I hope that's been of some education to you. Please feel free to uh, click subscribe and comment down below. I'm just going to, well, while you're here, shall we try to just take this bezel off? I'm going to be lazy though, I don't want to undo the screw, so I'm going to see if I can get it off. 
uh, without unscrewing it. And I can see there's some tangs here. Now remember, these are like really expensive tweezers, so I shouldn't really be using them for this. So I am clearly going to. Now let's do it with this other inappropriate tool, which is my side cutters. Just getting rid of the tabs. They're firing off everywhere. If you don't get them to fire off, that means you're not doing them properly. Oh no! You brute! You absolute brute! Okay, look. That's the screen module and it came off really nicely. That's pretty much perfect. Great. If I can actually figure out what's the interface on the screen module, we can probably use that again. That's a good thing. Ugh. In fact, I'm going to tell you what it is here, because can you see right there? It's hard to read, but it says Zhang Trang Display M101 WSB40. Nice display there. That goes onto the shelf of Curiosity because I'm going to be curious to see if I can try to get that working if I find another monitor with this sort of ribbon cable. I'm just going to swap it, see what happens. Maybe it'll blow up. And uh, what I did damage in the process because I was incredibly careless. You can see this ripped ribbon cable right here. Let's zoom in. Look at that. If you've got that, by the way, throw your device away. You're never going to fix that. It's gone. It's, it'd be gone. That is the actual touchscreen. That's the interface for the touch screen. I'm just looking here to see if we can actually see it as a sort of separate layer, but uh, it's bonded. It's bonded onto this sort of front plasticky glass screen. I don't know if it's glass or plastic. I'm gonna close my eyes and try to smash it. Ready, close my eyes. Yep, yeah, that was glass. Um, well, there you go. We've learned a lot today, haven't we? We were gonna play with batteries, but we ended up playing with uh, breaking glass touch screens. Um, where was I? Yes, please feel free to click subscribe, um, leave comments down below, and as ever, thanks for watching.